If teamwork isn't collaborative and rewarding, what's the point? Learn how SharePoint Team Sites help you better manage your team's activities and projects with calendars, tasks, and documents all in one place. It looks like Renee has the right idea. Creating and using a team site is easy. Let's take a look at how that's done. To create a team site, we want to go to our Actions menu and choose New Site. We choose the team site, we name it, and click Create. That's all there is to it. A team site can help you keep track of your calendar, projects, and other things you might be working on, as well as updating documents and tasks. Let's take a look at the calendar. We need to add a conference call on the 20th to Beijing. It'll be happening at 4 p.m., and I'm going to go ahead and create a new event. The new event dialog box opens up, fill out all the necessary information, and attach a file which allows me to go ahead and put the agenda in with the actual item itself. That shows up down here as an attachment at the bottom. Then I can go ahead and save that item and it's added to our calendar. Another way that a SharePoint team site can help you keep track of your projects is to manage your documents. Here I have the shared documents folder and I can easily add documents here. Let me show you what I mean. I can upload several documents at a time. I click the Add Document link, choose Upload Multiple Files, browse to the file's locations, select the documents I want, and drag them into the dialog box. Now I can go ahead and simply click OK, and the documents are uploaded. Then click Done, and they appear in my list. Another tool that my team site provides is tasks. I can create more than one of these tasks list as well, simply once again going up to my site actions menu and choosing more options. Here I would go ahead and select the task list I want, name it, and click create. But SharePoint and my team site have the ability to make this task list even more useful. I can opt to use Outlook to help me manage these tasks. To do this, I need to go ahead and click the Connect to Outlook button. Once I do that, SharePoint wants to open Microsoft Outlook, so I need to allow that. Outlook wants me to double check to make sure that I'm connecting the proper list. Team Site Project Tasks is the list I'm sure that I want to connect. To do so, I click Yes. Once I've done that, my Team Site list is now here for me to add tasks. Now if I want to add a task, I can simply click New Task, fill out any other information necessary, and then save and close the task. Now we have a task here in Outlook, and if we take a look in SharePoint and refresh, we have a task here as well. So that's how a team site can help you and your team manage calendars, documents, and tasks more efficiently.